Good morning, this Friday VE Day. Welcome to our daily prayers together. Um, I wonder if you're taking today as a bank holiday, but if you are probably like me, you're thinking it's a bit of a strange one. Normally on a bank holiday, we'll go out somewhere, but of course we're in lockdown still. And so it probably feels a bit funny to you. But nonetheless, God is well used to coming to strange and unfamiliar places to help you and me by his Holy Spirit. So on what's probably a slightly strange day, nonetheless, we invite God's Spirit into our hearts now. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. We're carrying on with Philippians chapter 2, talking about Christ's emptying of himself and we're coming now towards the conclusion of this this early Christian hymn uh, chapter 2 verse 9 thinking about all that Christ did emptying himself of his um, of God's nature and then <laughs> of his manhood as he died on a cross therefore verse 9 says God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. Um, the key word for me in this, and we're thinking about Christ's exaltation. And you could say, look, Christ did some difficult things, but he's got through them. So God says, look, you can forget all about that now. You can put on your crown, have your orb and scepter, sit on the throne, and we'll forget about all that. But actually, um, the word that's key to me is therefore God exalted him to the highest place. It, it's amazing because God, uh, Christ emptied himself of all that was godly. For that reason, he is raised up to glory because he gave up glory, emptying himself of it. For that reason, he is exalted. That is amazing. It's funny in the end of the Bible in Revelation, Christ is described as the lamb on the throne. Of course, the word lamb has these ideas of sacrifice. So the one who was sacrificed, his giving of himself is in itself his glory. And it makes me think, oh, glory from a heavenly perspective is not when we get recognition and adulation or even encouragement but our glory is for those times when we empty ourselves in love for God and love for each other it's a completely different way of thinking about it I find it quite challenging but what a wonderful God that it's as we give ourselves as God gave himself for us that we discover the real glory we pray father thank you for such an amazing christ who gave up everything and for that he is glorified help me to follow his example in giving my life to you and to others And so as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. And it's interesting at the end of the Lord's Prayer, we talk about the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. And it's that glory of giving that we maybe reflect on today. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.